USDA issued its agricultural trade outlook uh, last week. It's forecasting uh, agricultural exports next year are going to be $134 billion. Uh, that's slightly higher than the number for this last fiscal year, which was $129 uh, seven billion dollars, and both are lower uh, than uh, the record exports of $152 billion realized in 2014. Uh, trends for grains and feeds, including corn, oil seeds, including soybeans, and animal products, including pork, um, are similar to those uh, for overall agricultural exports. Uh, the reason uh, for these lower export values are because of uh, lower prices. Uh, the price of soybeans over the last two years are down roughly 32 percent, for corn uh, roughly 19 percent, and for pork roughly 15 percent. The projection has soybean prices recovering about 3 percent next year, uh, but uh, corn and pork prices are expected to fall another 5 percent. Another factor affecting these trends uh, has resulted in trade volumes that are somewhat larger than it was expected about a year ago uh, due to uh, bad weather and short harvests of corn and soybeans in South America. Uh, if one looks at weekly uh, export prospects and weekly exports from USDA data, one saw a surge in those exports in the second half of the last fiscal year corresponding with the southern hemisphere harvest uh, and that is continuing into this year to make up for the shortages from South America. USDA expects production uh, and exports from South America to recover next year. Another factor affecting this performance is weak global macroeconomic performance and the strong dollar. Uh, the dollar has appreciated 25% relative to the euro, 32% relative to the British pound, and 45% uh, relative to the Brazilian uh, real since 2014. Um, one of the factors affecting this was Brexit, the decision in the United Kingdom uh, to leave the European Union. Uh, uh, Great Britain is a relatively small agricultural uh, importer, but the short-term effects on the exchange rate are probably what's uh, the most important consequence of the Brexit decision. Uh, in addition, trade agreements have historically been a factor uh, that have helped agricultural exports. Uh, agriculture has been strongly in favor of the Trans-Pacific Partnership, which was ratified, uh, uh, which was um, signed a year ago, October, and has not yet uh, been ratified in the U.S. Uh, President-elect Trump has announced uh, that he is going to withdraw from TPP uh, the first day he's in office, and this reflects uh, the very negative views towards trade uh, in his campaign. Uh, the USDA noted uh, in their uh, international outlook that China and Mexico, two countries who have been signaled out uh, for uh, measures against their exports uh, to the U.S., have been in, have been very important partners uh, for U.S. Uh, agricultural trade. Um, and if uh, measures against that trade are taken, like further protectionist measures. Uh, in the U.S., uh, this is likely to do harm uh, to U.S. agricultural exports. Historically, exports have been an important factor contributing uh, to higher farm uh, income. Uh, the projections for now um, have the contribution of exports down somewhat with some recovery uh, expected in the future. They won't recover strongly until prices go up and uh, the uh, negative views on trade agreements and the likely effects on policy in the future aren't going to help.